to 16,000 hertz. So you can interact with any sound vibration between those two points. Anything within there, it's fair game. Your ears can sense it. Right? Okay. It exists, you exist on that level. So if I stimulate you with a color that you can perceive, that means it's a, in a vibratory rate that your body can exist in, including your brain. So if yellow, uh, now you understand yellow is a frequency of existence emitting light, reflecting it when it's there to reflect it, no matter how many times per second that is, or frequency. Then your eyes are hit with pulses. Those pulses go through your your optic nerve, your brain stem, and then constantly streaming into your brain. Your brain is electromagnetic. Every time a neuron depolarizes, it e emits electromagnetism. You have this balance shifting of, in the brain, it would be, you know, uh, potassium, sodium chloride. As they switch in and out, it creates this, this change in electronegativity, which is an electromagnetic wavelength. And I'll get into that a little bit later. But that can affect nearby neurons and nearby nerves. Okay? And they call that entrainment, brainwave entrainment. <clears throat> so if you get a constant frequency coming into your eyes, it's going through your brain. Okay? The more, the higher the amplitude, the quicker it happens, but that will start to make your brain oscillate on that frequency. Why? Because you're experiencing it, your brain will adjust to it. However, what if someone can find the certain frequencies for different emotional states? Not hard at all. And then find the color that correlates to that emotional state. If you, it's, uh, you know, a two-ended stick. If, if you stimulate somebody with the vibration of, say, anger, then you can make them start to feel angry. If you've had thoughts that have made you angry, they're linked to a vibration. If you have those thoughts, you create the vibration. However, if you infuse the vibration, you can bring those thoughts to surface. Do you see? This is how you can get a, a country riled up to go murder children in Iraq. You can, because they're bound to emotion and to structure. You can do it with sound, sight, TV uses both. And then embedded upon that are the, you know, as a carrier wave are the things you're not perceiving at all that are also in training your brain as a secondary wave or tertiary or quaternary. And don't be intimidated by it. Understand it. Now are you starting to get a little bit better of an understanding of what I'm talking about? It's not that hard, but just remember one thing. You understand it. What does that tell you? Now, a five-year-old could understand these things if you raise the five-year-old correctly. Don't give it the vaccinations, you know, and all the other things designed to keep the brain from accessing this information, which is available to you. Uh, the Creator, it created everything. It's not about whether it can teach you. It's only about what you can handle in the moment that it wants to share it with you. It's just that your preconceived core beliefs are so wrong that when, you, when people try to connect to the Creator and they're hanging on to those beliefs and they want to be taught from within those beliefs, like, teach me why this belief I have is right or wrong. Why is this uh, correct or incorrect? When you're so far off base that there isn't enough information in your brain to put together that it just has to be knowledge and then you have to go out and try to extract a metaphor from life. That's how you interact with the Creator. It's the consciousness, the love that will take what you have and put it together correctly when you're in connection with it and if it doesn't then it will put the information in your soul which will communicate with your mind and you start to extract the metaphor because truth is only in metaphor in a scalar reality. When I say you need to know these things, um, that means you, you cannot be trying to memorize what I'm saying. Um, I know there are people that 
know this. There are scientists that probably know this. I mean, it's not very hard at all. I mean, the nature of light, sun, wavelengths, uh, the nature of scalar reality is so very basic that the concept that they don't know it um, would blow my mind. I mean, this is, this is uh, to me, what I'm telling you right now would be what I would want to start explaining to, say, a kindergartner. This is kindergarten level stuff for a human. It should be. And that's not to offend you. It's just my take on it. It's, it's so very basic. What, what am I saying to you? If you try to memorize what I'm saying, you, you, you'll, you'll, no offense, but you'll screw it up. People have already done that. Of, they're not connected to their intuition, to the Creator. They, I've given a lot of um, you know, input so far in other uploads. Uh, one is my cancer analogy, which I'm going to get into for the first time now. And people, they don't get it. They, they hear what I say. They remember what affected them. And then I hear them try to copy and plagiarize what I say to influence people, but they screw it up. Why? Because they don't have that connection. They don't understand what I'm saying. I mean, I, I know a person right now that will change, but right now he's on a cancerous energy. He's got anger and fear in him. And uh, I heard him using my cancer analogy to pull people into his point of view of fear and anger and war. And I'm like, w what? W what? Don't be using my analogy. What am I saying to you? Have you, have you, f do you know yet? I I don't want to give you a fish every time you listen to me. I want to teach you how to fish. And I'm telling you, there's only one way to do it. There's only one way. If you try to verify what I'm saying through some sort of information in this realm, you're insane. If you try to critically assess what I'm saying, when you don't have the ability to come up with it on your own, if you do that, you're insane. This is the very problem with humans right now. You're all insane. And because you're all insane, and yeah, okay, so what, does that mean maybe 3% of them are not? Okay, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the the majority here. The majority of humans are insane. And because you're all insane, you don't know it. No psychiatrist can help you. Psychiatrists are insane. Even more. Otherwise, they wouldn't have gone into psychiatry. Why have I counseled psychiatrists? Why have they sought, sought out my counsel? And then they try to critically assess what I'm saying compared to the textbooks and journals and, and other research by the insane on the mind. Why is he right? Fascinated by me rather than just becoming what they are? It's insane. What I'm telling you is your sanity is there uh, with this hand being... Imagine this hand over your head reaching down waiting for you to grab it. And you're looking everywhere but at that hand. You, you, you're insane. And there... <laughs> I could talk for weeks straight on things you've never even thought of. And I would get the reaction of, 